Hey guys, using my backup camera here, so we only got 30 seconds. This is a PC cabinet that uh, I've got dry fitted together here, just to take a look at it. Got some more work to do, not quite done fitting the top. It's a little diamond edged moldings I want to make up top. And this is the, what you might call the optical bay of this case, if you can call it a case. There's a T-Res, T-Virus Res by Frozen Q. There's the area where all the PC stuff is going to go, the two radiators, the hard drives, power supply, all that good stuff will mount, and another shelf. And, uh, kind of hard for you to see the whole But, uh, I'll try and give you a quick run around of it here. And these little 30 second snippets I gotta splice together with this ancient Minolta. That's the removable back. Right now I've just got six screws in it, but it'll, it'll have a few more. And that creates the venting. There's a top vent. And the bottom vent. So through the bottom vent, air gets drawn up from the fixed back, between the fixed back and the removable back to this opening here for a triple radiator. And it's the same here. So the radiator will draw through the cabinet and then it passes up and comes out top vent. Okay, I just want to show you a couple of little details here. Uh, this is the hard drive hutch. It's got a Norco 5 drive hot swap unit in there. Okay, And this is uh, kind of a neat little piece. It's got sound deadening, that thick sound deadening uh, material. Stop all the mechanical vibrations and this will be glued in place permanently. And the unit is secured from the back through the fan hole. Okay, uh, this is the power supply hutch, and this is uh, similar to the hard drive hutch. Uh, it's diagonally opposed. It's mounted here where you can see there's access holes in the back here. This will be glued in place permanently. Okay, the power supply will slide in there, and uh, can't hold it up there too long, but <laughs> both of them will get little uh, vanity plates on the front. Okay, this is one of the radiators, the two radiators that will go in there, and I just wanted to show you how this this works. It goes, the body of the three fans there, okay, goes right through that hole, okay, and it's held by metal tabs, which aren't in place right now. I don't want to try and do it one-handed, I might mess something up, but basically two triple radiators go in each of those square holes with the fans resting on the ply, okay. Uh, the Here's another neat uh, little feature of the deal. This is the motherboard tray, okay, with a PCI card using uh, t tubes that I've drilled and tapped, and uh, that mounts up inside. Uh, it's difficult for me to do it with that clamp. Clamp, there we go. It's going to mount up like that, and it has one inch gap uh, over the radiator. Uh, and this is just to kind of show you where this Lexan motherboard tray uh, locates inside the case. It's, it's uh, supported on these tubes here and it floats an inch past the radiators and as you can see it's got plenty of ventilation and the standoffs are tall enough to let the cabling uh, go down and into it which is what the two so uh, here's a last look at it here, and uh, it's a custom PC case that's also a TV stand and a bookcase. Just happens to have a reservoir, and oh, I, I forgot to mention that uh, I've got tempered glass doors, quarter-inch doors that go over these openings. They're over there in that protected box, and those will look really cool. Those will be on magnetic.